Hello traders everywhere. Jeremy Lutz coming from the Digital Studios of Market Club. And the Dow bounced back today after losses yesterday, setting a record close. In fact, the S&P 500 and NASDAQ joined that party as well this week. So we'll start with the S&P 500 as we usually do on a Friday on a weekly chart. And we'll get to the Dow chart in a second. Closed at 4,369.55, gaining about 1.1% on the day with the chart analysis score of plus 100 with green trade triangles across the board indicating that we're in a long-term uptrend for the S&P 500. As you can see on the weekly candle here, it was able to finish up the week about four-tenths of a percent, so it's three straight weeks of gains. And our key level to watch would be 4,173.40. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move to a sidelines position for the S&P 500. Dollar index, uh, not able to get into positive territory in the week, losing about a tenth of a percent, trading at 92.10 with a chart analysis score plus 60, indicating that we're in a sidelines position for the U.S. dollar as it stands. Key level to watch would be 91.51. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a short position for the U.S. dollar. Moving on to the Dow Jones, as you can see, Record close at 34,870.16. Uh, gained about 1.3% on the day, up 448 points with a chart analysis score plus 100 with green trade triangles across the board indicating that we're in a long term uptrend for the Dow Jones. On the week, it was able to get a gain of about a quarter percent on the week. Kilo to watch should be 33,312.07. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a sidelines position for the Dow. NASDAQ also having the third straight week of gains, closed at 1,000, I'm sorry, 14,701.92, which are now to score plus 85, indicating that overall we're still in a long term uptrend. It's just slightly weaker than the other two main indexes. Get over to watch, it'd be 13,960.04. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a sideline position for the NASDAQ. Crude oil having a losing week this week, uh, even though the chart analysis scores plus 100. Right now it's down about six tenths of a percent on the week, trading at 74.66, but we are still in a strong uptrend. Key level to watch would be 71.62. A move below that level would issue a red daily trade triangle, indicating a move back to a short term sidelines position for crude oil. Take a look at gold. Having its third straight week of gains is able to gain 1.1% on the week, trading at 1,808.60 with a chart analysis score of plus 65. So we're in a sidelines position for gold. I'll give you two levels to watch here the next week. First one, the 1,796.30. A move below that level would issue a red daily trade triangle, indicating a move back to a short term short position for gold. However, another level would be 1,813. A move above that level would issue a green weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a long term up position for gold. So keep an eye on that. We'll finish it up as we usually do with Bitcoin, continuing to be stuck in a sidelines uh, trend. Right now, right around 33,000. However, chart analysis score is negative 100, indicating that we're in a long term downtrend. But I like to think more of it as a sidelines position because it's just been tracked through this range for the last several weeks. Uh, lost 3.2% on the week, trading at 33,504.60. Uh, key level to watch would be 36,623.79. A move above that level would issue a green weekly trade triangle indicating a move back to a true sidelines position for Bitcoin. With that, here's success. Have a great weekend. And we'll be back next week with a market update.